Hey guys, all right, so I'm not here today. I'm, I'm around, not in here, doing stuff for the county. All right, so the things that we got to cover today for service design, you guys are working on a new section for an upcoming project. You should have two worksheets. The first worksheet is the pop-up storyboard worksheet. Looks like this. Um, what you're doing is you're filling out the portions of the story that need to be written out. So the stuff for the setting, the characters themselves, what's the background of the story, and then starting to do your basic designs for your hero and your villain, or uh, just the characters of the story. I put hero and villain just because it's usually easiest for that. On the back of it, you're starting to work on the designs of the individual cells within the pop-up book itself. The other one is a photo board, story, uh, photo story, storyboard worksheet. This has a lot more cells to it, a lot more information to really give a lot more specifics to what each individual page is going to look like. Now, as you guys are creating this book and creating what you're going to tell me in the story, in the pop up story, think about the perspective of each of those scenes. So, something in the foreground, the middle ground, the background. So, we have depth, we have space, and we have form all within the pop-up. Those are those uh, elements and principles that we use already. We're, re we're reusing those in this project and how we're applying that to the lessons that we're doing. The other section is as you guys are working in the pop-up book, here are some examples of what we're looking for in that pop-up design. We have a book where we have things that are popping up from the foreground, middle ground, and background perspective. You have a landscape of a scene. You have the example with inside the book with The Walking Dead with another example of a fairy tale design, uh, two examples of a fairy tale design. Um, and then we have two exterior cover designs. I want you guys to think about what you're gonna put in those locations as well. So overall one, we do have the skull on the front to be more of a grimoire-esque uh, demented story, which if you are doing that theme where uh, destroy a childhood, awesome design. Uh, the other one could be more of a fairy, open fairy tale landscape design where we have like a kind of a horse slash unicorn on the front of this one. Now, as you're doing those stories, think of those characters. We have a zombified Waldo, and then we also have a the clown with inside of a clown, which is the Joker inside of Ronald McDonald, which I think is just awesome all on its own. Work on those designs and work on that worksheet. So to, the big thing that I want you guys to have done today really no longer than Wednesday, so after our history, finish it up if you haven't finished it up, which is getting that storyboard stuff knocked out. In addition to that, if you're finished working on that, please take care of your calligraphy. You should have a definitive uh, final example for me to approve before you get the watercolor paper for your specified quote in calligraphy design. Now, once all that stuff is done, um, work, work, uh, now, so, the big goal to have by Wednesday is to have the storyboard worksheets completed as well as the final design for your calligraphy outline. Other than that, I will see you guys on Tuesday. I'm oh, sorry. I will see you guys on Wednesday.